Before we begin with this video, here's a quick and an easy question for you all. Can you all tell us the number of episodes in this season of She-Hulk? If you know the right answer, let us know in the comment section down below or stick to the end of the video, which is when I'm going to reveal the answer to this question. Hey guys and welcome to the Celebrity Expert, your number one source for all things TV shows and celebrities. And in today's video, we're going to look at She-Hulk cast, Tatiana Maslany and Mark Ruffalo talking about each other. He was an absolute joy to play with. Like, he's a big kid, you know, he just wants to play and we're both very similar in that respect. And, and to get to share this like very specific experience with him, you know, like there's so few people who have been the Hulk and, and I get to do it with Mark Ruffalo. It's just, it's a total dream. Three Three years ago, Marvel Studios announced for the first time that a She-Hulk series is in development for Disney+. Plus. And in 2020, it was confirmed that Orphan Black's Tatiana Mastany would be playing the role of Jennifer Walters. Now, we already have the first episode of She-Hulk Attorney at Law to be streamed on Disney+. Plus. I could be like, listen, listen up, kid. Listen up, lady. Because <laughs> we didn't ask for this, but you still got to deal with it. Your transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. No, he's the absolute opposite of that. And he was so curious about my experience because he came in a couple months into us filming and we sort of traded war stories in terms of like what it feels like, you know, to be to be a Hulk. She-Hulk is the third MCU superhero to be introduced in one of their own Disney Plus series. Last month, we got to meet Iman Vellani's Miss Marvel and she will now be appearing in a movie alongside Captain Marvel. Oscar Isaac's Moon Knight also debuted while there hasn't been any word of him appearing in a Marvel movie. Seems like he will return for another season. And it, and it is like working with Mark, you know, on that first episode, there was a lot of play, there was a lot of improv, there was a lot of like, our dynamic as actors kind of becoming part of our dynamic as, as Hulks and vice versa, you know, it all sort of like had an interplay to it. When you're doing a show that's a comedy, it's like I'd never done that before and it's, it's, it is very fun. <laughs> For me, you know, Mark, Mark has always been an actor who I've like deeply, deeply admired and like loved his work and felt like he was just so authentic and, and, um, real and and so to watch him step into a world that like is so massive and still like maintain that sense of like his integ integrity of his work and his playfulness. She-Hulk Attorney at Law is out which means there's a new Hulk in town. Featuring Tatiana Mastany as Jennifer Walters aka She-Hulk, this series is going to be nine episode long legal comedy and this is going to be amazing because we will also see Mark Ruffalo in the series. It's amazing. What was it like? Oh my god, we had the best time. Yeah, we had so much fun. And um, she's the best. She's, I, I couldn't couldn't be happier passing the Hulk banner. <laughs> I, th I feel like those mocap suits and us just like playing felt like two kids in pajamas. Like, and it was just really, it really was like so free and like despite all of these technical, you know, demands, it was really so much fun. Yeah. How amazing Tatiana is and how she could. We don't need He Hulk anymore. All we need is She Hulk. What is it like for you coming back and being Hulk every time? Does it excite you every time? Yeah, I'm always surprised they ask me back. I mean, there have been two other actors who played, three other actors who played the part. So, you know, every day above ground is a good day. Yep. <laughs> But before we jump into the next video, here's a quick shout out to our Instagram page, TCE Filmonger. If you are someone who would love to get your daily dose of celebrity news and other movie updates, then this is a one-stop shop. What movie is the iconic Hulk line of Stairs? What movie is that from? It's from... Oh, yes. Aven one of the Avengers. Do you know what? I'll give you the point. Because how many Avengers movies are there? There's like five, okay? There's like <laughs> too many Avengers movies. Okay. Endgame. Yes. Do you remember the scene? My number one pro tip is, is the thing that I witnessed in him. And it was just from watching him work. He, first off, has like the most playful, open energy on set and is like so in the moment and feels like 
He's just like discovering everything as it's happening, which is just the most wonderful thing to play opposite. Not only is it an origin story for Jennifer Walters, who juggles between her career as a lawyer and who also happens to be a six foot seven green superhero, this series will also bring some of fan favorite characters. Mark Ruffalo is going to be back as Bruce Banner, aka Hulk, and also Benedict Wong's Wong is going to be back in the series. It was great to uh, to be able to pass the baton. Although she didn't need to pass the baton, she came with her own baton. And um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's so much fun to do. It's so much fun. And Mark taught me a lot, I have to say. Just watching him play that character, seeing him transform, seeing him find, you know, work on the voice and all of that was just so exciting. I think I'm jealous. Is that what I'm feeling? And my character has zero issue with turning into a Hulk. She sort of does it seamlessly, so it has none of the, like, angst around it, which is, except that she doesn't want to be a superhero. At her press conference attended by Tatiana Maslany, Ginger Gonzaga, who is the executive producer of the show, head director Kat, and the showrunner Jessica, they open up about the show's format and working with Mark Ruffalo and more. Yeah, I mean, Mark's so amazing. He was mm. He's one of those actors who's just who just empowers you to be yeah. yourself and be in the moment. You know, he's very playful. He would never, like, you know, mansplain how to be the Hulk to me, but <laughs> <Mansplain>. <laughs> <laughs> like, this great moment that I witnessed where he went from being, like, he was Bruce Banner on the ground, and he, like, transformed so into the Hulk, stood learn. up in this way that I was like, I don't think people move like, like, I don't think that's a normal way a human mm. moves. He also has this incredible um, depth of work that he's done on this character. So much so that I watched him like come up from like a laying down position as Bruce and he shot up and became Hulk. And he did it in a second. It just happened and it was so effortless and it was really like a superhuman feat to witness an actor do and that was definitely something I clocked. When you were like Bruce Banner on the ground and you stood up and were the Hulk, you did that transformation in three seconds, not even one second yeah. without using your arms. Oh, really? Do you know that you can get up off the ground without <laughs> without actually getting up off the ground? It's that was, that's that like how deep the character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Talking about relating to her character, Tatiana Maslany said it was actually her conflict with it that I found most interesting. It was like her resistance to it. She's built this life for herself that she does not want to let go of. She has worked so hard to be a lawyer and she has to constantly prove herself. So she's in this path and then when this thing happens to her, she has to contend with a whole other perception being placed on top of her and expectations societally of how she should be and who she should be. He just was so, he was so curious about my experience of being a Hulk and I was ex curious about his and we sort of traded stories and found that we were like, in, in a lot of ways, very similar in the way that we approach things, but also had kind of vastly different experiences of it, which is also reflected in, in the TV show. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. And the answer to the question I asked you at the beginning of the video is nine. Yes, the answer is nine episode long. All right, guys, we'll see you around next time with another brand new video. Keep watching The Celebrity Expert. Bye, guys.